Hey everyone, welcome back to another Soar episode following the theme of books that also exist as movies. Today's episode is one that I am quite excited for, as it is based on such a powerful and excellent movie that I have seen numerous times, and a wonderful book I could read on any occasion. Remember, this month's Soar episodes are in honor of Black History Month, and all the incredible black heroes that we have had throughout history that deserve our appreciation. Today's novel is quite fitting, as it is the Super Bowl, with the Chiefs against the Buccaneers. Let me know who you are rooting for. If you participate in this and guess the winner correctly, you will receive a special shout out in the next Sora episode. You could leave a 5 star review, a comment, a comment on YouTube, on Facebook, or any other platform. The protagonist of the book, The Blind Side, is none other than Michael O'Hare, a black football player who possesses immense athletic ability. Michael is 15 and is temporarily living with Big Tony when to fulfill his mother's last wish, he and Tony's son are sent to a Christian school. Michael impresses the school coaches with his athletic talent and he becomes a student there. He eventually meets Sean and Lee Anthony Tuohy, wealthy Christians whose children attend the same school. Lee Ann grows close to Michael who eventually moves in with Tuohy's. Michael gets a tutor so that he can maintain the grades he needs to keep playing football, and he becomes close with the Tuahi children, Collins and Sean Jr. A football scout brings him to national attention, and he is recruited by many top college football programs. He chooses to play at the University of Mississippi, which is where all the Tuahis graduated from. A complaint is filed that says that Michael was coerced to choose the University of Mississippi because the Tuahis influenced him and gave him gifts. There is an investigation, but Michael is eventually cleared to play at the school. He has a successful season and wins many awards. At the end of the season, a teammate confronts Michael, saying inappropriate things about Lee Ann and Collins. Out of anger, Michael beats him up, also accidentally hurting a young child on scene. Out of fear, he runs away. Will Michael be in trouble? What will happen to the child? Will Michael get to continue playing football? Read to find out and join this adventure of what passion can do and what obstacles it can surpass. For me, I really liked reading this book as it was so emotional and powerful. The best part was that it was a true story, and knowing this fact made it even more inspirational. It was incredible how Michael had been through so much, but he had passion and talent, and he made it all the way to the NFL. In fact, he played in the NFL for seven years, ultimately stopping in 2016 due to numerous injuries. He currently lives in Baltimore, in a house he was able to purchase with his NFL salary that he worked so hard to earn. This book is full of passion, action, hope, love, friendship, family, dedication, courage, strength, perseverance, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you for listening. I implore you to soar.